Alright guys, Max here again. And this is a review of the Digi Warriors Impale Dramon Fighter Mode. As you can see right here, obviously. I'm sure you're familiar with this guy. This guy's out of Season 2, uh, a product of Stingmon, or actually Wormmon and Vmon combining, you know, XVmon and Stingmon combining to make Pale Dramon. He goes to Impale Dramon Dragon Mode, and Impale Dramon Dragon Mode transforms right into this guy. Uh, this guy was pretty much the epitome of Season 2, in a way, and a lot of people's favorites. Now, personally, I've never been as big of an Impale Dramon fighter mode fan as I have other things, uh, but I'm not saying he ain't cool. Uh, he's a pretty awesome. Now, this is a really nice figure. Uh, the articulation on mine is a little loose, but still, it's quite impressive, and I'll show you that right now. Okay. Let's start with the feet. Uh, feet go back and forth. Don't go side to side, though. At the knees, you get a little less than a 90 degree bend. And at the waist, you get full 90 degrees, full 90 degrees. And also, uh, they go outwards all that way up, full 90 degrees outwards, too. Okay, so uh, the waist movement is, let's get this guy back in line here. All right, waist movement, he moves a little bit there. At the arms, uh, as you just saw, goes all the way up. It would do 360, but the wings are in the way, so basically it can do uh, as much as it can without the wings getting in, uh, in place of it. Uh, at the arms, you can bend it forward, but you can't bend it any other way. You basically have to put it out to where the fist is uh, facing outwards, and you can bend it 90 degrees up. And you'll see exactly why that is in a minute. And uh, you can't move the hand, unfortunately. Uh, the head moves a little bit to each side. So that's the articulation of it. Now, the reason the uh, the hands move 90 degrees outward like that is because it comes with the little add-on accessory of this, the little blaster gun he has. So if you put both arms in that mode and uh, the chest raises up open, you can attach this inside this chest, put this in his hands, and there you have his signature move. So he can do that pose. If you're interested in him pulling off that pose, he can absolutely sit on your shelf just like that, which I think is pretty cool. A lot of the other Digi Warriors figures they didn't have in that kind of a mode where you could do that, and this one does, so that's definitely a big plus. So yeah, uh, it's a pretty straightforward figure, pretty simple but yet pretty good. I'll do a 360 view of this so you can see how it really looks aesthetically wise, like I have with my other reviews. You know, it actually has a lot of detail, but unfortunately with it being black primarily, uh, that hides a lot of the detail to it from the camera at least. All right. Yeah, it's a pretty nice figure in my opinion. The head, it looks really nice. Uh, that was one of my, my big complaints with like the digivolving figures. The head and the chest proportions were just so out of whack that it looked bad. Uh, but this one really got it right, obviously, because this is more for the look than any sort of uh, gimmick like digivolving. So, yeah, I guess that'll be about it for the Impale Dramon Digi Warriors review. You know, I hope you guys liked the review. Uh, let me know in the comments, like uh, the video if you want, or subscribe. And I'll see you next time. <laughs> and he falls.